Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, people of God. We bless the name of the Most High God. We thank God for this hour. We give you the glory. We thank Him for making us to see on that day. Father, we thank you. We exalt your name for the love of our family. For the love of our loved one, Lord, we appreciate you. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lord of love. Victory belongs to Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father, Almighty Redeemer. Let your name be glorified. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we honor you. King of kings, we bless your name, O oh Lord. My Father, my Lord, I thank you, O oh Lord. But I'm here to go, O oh Lord, to speak your word, O oh Lord. Speak out of me in the name of Jesus. May I not speak on my home in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty Father. I bless everyone in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I bless this platform. Those that listen to this word, O oh Lord, let this word transform them. Let this word give them a heart of repentance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' precious holy name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. People of God, I just have a word of God to share with you, to share with all of us that the Lord Almighty hates sin. He hates sin. It's anyone that is sin, anyone that is living in sin, is a slave to sin. And my topic today you slave to sin, a servant to sin. When you are sin, when you are living in sin, when you are doing that thing that God hates, that means you are a slave to sin. You are working for the sin. You are not a you are not a servant to the sin. The, the master is the sin because you are working for him. You are living a sinful life. You are not working for God. You are working for the devil. You are working for sin. Now you're not a slave for sin. So this then you are not working and sin. Because why? You are a servant. The sin is not remoting you. The sin is not telling you to go and kill. The sin is not telling you do this and do that. What is not glorified God? That is why when you are living in sin, when you are committing sin, when you are living in adultery, when you are living in fornication, whatsoever sin, all sin are sin. There is no big sin. There is no small sin. The Lord Almighty says all sin are equal. So when you sin, when you are dwelling in sin, you, some, you, you, some people will say, oh, this is a small sin. No, this one is a big to know all sin are sin. The Bible, Bible says all sin are sin. So anyone that is committing sin is a servant to sin. Hallelujah. It is a servant to sin. The Lord hates sin. He hates sin. So when you are living in sin, you are working for the sin. You are working for for sin, you are working for the devil. Who is a father of sin? Is the devil. You are working for the devil. But when I are living a rational life, when you are living a righteous life, you are working for God because God is truthful. God is holy. So when you are living in a sin, you are not working for God. You are just working for the devil. You are just doing the, what as the devil is leading you. You are not a slave to sin. So people of God, please, 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 whatsoever you are doing, that is not pleasing God. Stay away from me because the Lord is sin. Sin is what God hates. Sin is what God hates in humanity. You are continuing living in sin. You are deceiving God. You are, you are telling God that uh, you, you know you, you cannot stop it. You can stop sin. You can stop sin by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. By coming to Him, by praying that God. I, I want you because without the Lord Jesus Christ, you cannot stay away from sin. Without accepting Him, without acknowledging Him, without accepting Him as your Maker, people of God, you cannot stay away from sin. So you need to come to Jesus. You need to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. A, a, a sinner is a slave to sin. When you are living in sin, when I was living in sin before, by the grace of God, when I was not born again, I was a slave to sin. I was a slave. This sin is my master. He is the one that is ruling me. So is anyone that is still living in sin that have not received Jesus Christ, Unknowing, you don't know, but the devil is the one that is ruling you. You are not a slave to sin. Please come out of it and come to Jesus Christ so that you will live a righteous life, so that you will live a life that will please him. Praise Master Jesus. I have to read this verse so that the word of God says, John chapter 8, verse 34. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless the name of the Most High God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, King of all glory. He said, Jesus, this is our, our Father. Our Creator, our Maker, our Lord Jesus Christ is telling. He said, Jesus answered them, Very, very, I say unto you, whosoever that commits sin is the servant of sin. You see, he said, whosoever, this is our Lord Jesus Christ is saying, our Father said, whosoever that commits sin, he's telling you and I, whosoever that commits sin, whosoever that is living is a sin, is a servant to a sin. 
Whosoever that is doing is a, a sin, is a servant to sin. Whosoever that is doing the work God hates, whosoever that is disobeying the Lord Almighty because God is sin, that person is a servant to a sin. It's not a servant of God. You are not working for God because God is pure. God is clean. God is holy. His standard is holiness. So God did not dwell in evil. So the word of God is telling you, the king of kings is telling you, our maker is telling you, when you are living in sin, people of God, when you are living in sin, that your lifestyle that you are living, that is not glorified God, the Lord said you are a servant to sin. You are not working for him. You are not for him. Anyone that is living is a sin, is not for God, because God did not live in sin. So if you want to work for God, you want to live for God, come out of sin. Call the Lord Jesus Christ. Accept him as your Lord, as your personal Savior. He will come and save you. When you accept it, he will come. Then the Spirit of God, the, the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, will be it will, in you. He will be controlling you. He will be convincing you what is right and what is not right. But unknowing, many people did not know because they are committing sin. Wish they are a servant of the devil. Wish they are a servant of sin. The sin will tell you, go and do that. Go and do this. Because why? You are a servant. It's remoting you. So you have no choice on your own. What you year you will do it that is what i said you are working for the devil because anyone that dwells in sin the lord jesus christ said is a servant of sin come to jesus christ today and be saved hallelujah so if you are living in sin the lord is telling you that he's telling you the truth that everyone that lives in sin is a slave to sin hallelujah he said everyone everybody the whole world he said when every, everyone that is living in sin is a slave to sin People of God, come out of sin. Come out of sin. I pray that God will give you the act of to repent so that you can know what you are doing. When you are living in sin, most of us, we don't know what we are doing. I pray that God deliver you from that sin of bondage. That sin of bondage, that slave of bondage of sin that you are still living, that you are still thinking that you are still doing the right thing. By the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I set you free right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free for that bondage of sin because you are under a spell. You are working for the devil. You are working for the sin which you should not do. Father Almighty, by your mercy, your mercy, bring your children out of that bondage of sin in the name of Jesus. Lord, set them free, O oh Lord. Anyone that is still living on sin, O oh Lord, that is still a servant of sin, Father, King of glory, Lord, bring them out and deliver your children from sin in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise Master Jesus, people of God. Please accept the Lord Jesus Christ. How to be free from sin is by accepting him as your Lord, as your personal Savior, that he came to die for you. He came to set you free from bondage. That is why the Lord Jesus Christ came, to set us free from sin, to set us free for what will take us to damnation. When you are living in sin, hell is, your, hell is the place of a sinner. So we don't want to go to hell. We don't want to go to hell. It's not made for anyone. It's not made for human beings. It's only made for the devil and his agent. But we decided to sin against God, we decided to obey the devil. That is why the devil is using us. That is why the devil is using people of God to sin against their creator. So which is not right, people of God. So you try to resist the devil. It's the Lord said in James chapter 4 verse 5, he says, submit yourself to him and resist the devil. When that thought is coming, when you submit yourself to God, that is how you can be able to resist the devil. But if you don't need the Lord Almighty, if you don't give your life to him, you cannot resist the devil. So people of God, God has sin. Sin is only thing that God is between my um between him and humanity, we man. Please come out of sin. Come to Jesus. Run to Jesus. The Lord is waiting for you. The Lord is on the door. Wait. Come to him. Repent. Call him to deliver you from whatsoever that you are doing. I know God will help. God is the one that help. Our help comes from God. It does not come from no man. It's not by our strength. It's not by our power. Whatsoever we are doing, we cannot do it by our own strength. That is why I'm telling you, please, people of God, come back to Jesus. Accept him. For the, accept Jesus Christ so that you can be able to free from that sin of bondage. That is where the devil wants to take your soul to. The devil wants your soul to go to hell. That is why it's led you to commit sin. When you have come to God, when you have received Jesus Christ, then the Spirit of God will not convince you. When you are doing the thing that is not right, you will not ask for mercy. You will not know that this thing is not good. The Word of God will not be transforming you. But if you don't know God, you will not know you will be there. Because why? The devil is a blind. Your heart, you are blind. The people, the people of the world. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4. He said the devil, the 
the God of this world are blind, the people are blind the world. No one they cannot see. Spiritually, they are blind, but physically they are seeing. But spiritually, they are blind. Why? Because the God of this world, which is the devil, are blinded their mind, they are blinded their eye. They cannot who hear, they cannot who see because why they are a slave to the devil. So the Lord is telling you today, anyone, everyone that is still living in sin, he said it's a slave to sin. He said, anyone, the Lord is not a respecter of anybody, including me. If I'm living a sin, I'm a slave to a sin. So people of God, please come out of sin. Let us come out. Let us come to Jesus. Let us accept him as our last and our Lord as personal Savior so that we can be able to stay away from sin. Without the Lord Jesus Christ, you cannot free from sin because it's not what you can do. Through Jesus Christ, you can be able to free from sin. Accept Him and come to Him. As you do so, the Lord will help you and empower you and give you the grace to stay away from sin and make sin to be retained in the name of Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord. I worship you. Thank you, Almighty God. I bless the name of the Most High God. Our God is so faithful. It's so lovely. It's so wonderful. Please let us come to learn and accept him in the name of Jesus. Amen. People of God, God bless you for watching, for subscribing. Continue to share. Continue to press the bell button so that when I download a new video or I'm alive, you can able to see it. Please share and watch and let this video go far. This is the word of God. The word of God is to say we should, the Bible says we should spread the word of God. We should spread the good news. This is a good news. This is a good news. This is it's a freedom. This is a liberty. We cannot buy. This is not what you can buy. It's, it's free. The Lord bring it, give it to us free. We can also give, share it out with free. By, selling, by, by sharing it, you know, by making comments, you know, that is how you are doing it. And I pray may God give you the grace to do so in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever you are doing, you are doing it for the Lord Almighty. The Lord is the one that will reward. I pray may God help us all to as we have started where we will end where in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Thank you all. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Shalom, people of God. Thank you. Father, I bless your name. Thank you, my father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.